Hey, how's it going everyone? It is indeed I, the disembodied voice of Deep End. And I just wanted to say a quick few words before we jump into this video. Normally in these piano improvs I just start it playing with no explanation. However, I thought it would be cool to give some information on this since it's on a different instrument than I normally play, which are digital keyboards because of where I live right now. So guys, I'm going to give some detailed insight into where I'm at right now and what this improv came from and what the instrument is I'm playing it on, things like that. So if you're not really too interested, you should probably skip ahead several minutes and I will leave in the comments below the timestamp to where you can just skip right into the musical aspect of this. So this improvisation is being played on an old upright piano that also has a player piano mechanism which means it can play these pre-made piano rolls that you use pedals to play through compositions it plays it by itself when you uh, pedal the foot pedals which controls how fast how fast that it plays it back so this is a super old piano i think it's around 100 years old or over it's sometime from the beginning of the 20th century and it was owned by my late grandmother and there's other history before that I believe maybe it was owned by her mother so this is an instrument that I love I've played a lot as I was growing up now it was in Oklahoma in Oklahoma City before it was moved down to Texas after she passed Often pianos will go out of tune whenever they're moved and it's standard to just tune them as soon as you do so. Now this instrument hasn't been tuned since it was moved and a long time before that, probably at least 10 years. As I kind of explained that this piano is an upright with a player piano mechanism, those are a little bit more annoying to tune because that entire mechanism has to be removed from the piano so that the piano tuner can access those strings and on top of that pianos were actually built to different pitch standards than they are today back then this piano was designed to be tuned to around a equals 430 hertz so it is an overall lower frequency by about 10 hertz so the tuning that it has gravitated towards over time not being tuned is fairly decent and actually a lot of pianists will agree with me on this i actually really enjoy the sound of an out of tune piano i don't mind it at all i think it gives it flavor if it's egregiously out of tune then maybe it's bad i don't know because my ears are kind of open to a lot of very wonky things i think they sound cool but on this particular piano, it's fairly decent tune that it's in, and some... What I find fascinating is that some keys seem to gravitate towards a sort of just intonation, where there must be some internal resonance in the piano where those pitches kind of resound and those strings gravitate towards a more just tuning rather than the equal tuning that it begins in. An acoustic piano, is a completely different experience playing it than a digital keyboard that I typically use. I've gotten more used to the digital keyboards. I still don't really care for them too much because playing a real instrument has more of a living quality to it and it's also a more visceral experience when playing. Uh, you're really more connected to it kinesthetically. So this session didn't have any overall structure plan to it. There were just a few harmonic motives that I treated as a somewhat of a home base during this improv session, which just come from things that I was sort of messing around with practicing past few days. 
And when you go into an improvisation with that open and broad of rules, it does make it quite difficult to perform in real time, which is what is so challenging as well as rewarding about improvisation. So it's to be expected that there will be mistakes. You're always trying to push the boundary of what you're brain, hands, and your whole being can make happen in a coordinated fashion. And that's what has always made me enjoy trying to get better at improvisation. Now where I'm at with everything, I hadn't played for a long time this year, and I hurt my right wrist quite a lot. It was bad, and I couldn't really play at all for most of this year, I would say. I didn't want to push it. So I'm still kind of a little bit rusty, but I've also been doing more music than a lot of the previous years. So I just haven't been doing much technical practice or, or really regimented stuff that I feel like helps to push you forward probably the quickest and also to make your playing more cohesive and have a better flow between everything. That being said, Every time I come back to music since graduating college, which was the most intense study of it I've ever done, every time I take a break and kind of come back, I rediscover that love and the joy of playing, and that really is my focus these days, rather than am I executing everything perfectly you know, is everything that I'm playing super riveting and a prodigious experience. Those sort of things are further from my mind. And something that is super actually overwhelming to me about improvisation is how every time I sit down at an instrument, I can discover if I'm playing just to practice and discover techniques, I may discover 10 to 15 to 20 concepts or techniques that I think would be really cool and they're challenging and I've never really thought of it before or practiced it. And there's an infinite amount of those sort of things that you discover. So being a musician or any kind of artist is a lifelong journey. You're always exploring what you can't do and whatever you can do will never match up to some intellectual ideal for perfection. So you're never at perfection. From a certain point of view, you're never even close to perfection. But you just have to enjoy what you can do and what you can say through the instrument, how you, what you can express, and just be grateful for the tool that you have to do it. So I think that's all I want to say before this improv. So I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you didn't mind that I gave a little bit of background before the piece. So thank you so much. I appreciate your support, and I hope you're having an awesome day, and you enjoy this video that I wanted to share. So, yeah.